Coming up next on Teardown is a 1980 CB900 Custom. This is the two-speed model, uh, the high-low, along with the regular transmission. This is a 1980, I believe 80 to 82 are all the same. Uh, clean title, Iowa title, I believe it is. Got this from a friend of mine. I know at least the last couple of years history on it. It's in fair shape. The, the seat's ripped up. Needs a seat cover. It's got the original pipes on it that don't look too awful bad. I don't believe they have any rust holes in them. It's a good runner. I've already warmed it up for a few minutes or I wouldn't be revving it like that. And I've been out riding with the guy that I got this from. Also double checked everything. All the brake lights, blinkers, all that stuff's working. You got a pretty nice adjustable rack there on the back, backrest rack. That right hand engine cover has a little hole in it from a tip over. It actually happened when he was stopped. Got quite a bit of feeding up on top of the tank. Uh, that is from the car air conditioner the wife just left in case you're wondering what that puddle is by the front tire Nice hot summer day here in Nebraska This thing's been ridden regularly every year. It doesn't have old gas in the carbs or anything like that It's always been a daily driver Thirty four thousand eight hundred and forty eight miles on it. Tack works, all the switches work, brakes work, runs through the gears and the high low just fine. We'll take it out for a short GoPro uh, HD cam test ride next. It's a nice old bike. The only reason I'm parting it out is because that's what I do. It's my full-time job. There's nothing wrong with the bike. It's just worth more in parts, so that is, in fact, why it's getting parted out. 1980 CB900 Custom. Thanks for watching.